Hey guys, what's going on? Jackson here from Rune TCG, and today I'm going to be breaking up the large string of starter deck videos that I'm going to be putting out with a video about set two and six cards that I think are pretty cool. And I think they work pretty well in the game too. So, without further ado, I'll get into the cards. But just so you guys know, there isn't really a rhyme or reason to any of these cards. And I don't know, I just think they're pretty cool. So I'll get into it with the first super rare for the whole set. Zankopolis Leviathan. Has 160 HP, 200 attack, super rare, like I said, and it takes three blue runes for it to attack. And its ability says, when this minion attacks, search your deck for any card and put it on top of your main deck. So, this card adds a lot of consistency to just decks, and I want to. I want to push blue decks away from doing damage with their abilities. I want to keep that aspect of them, but I want to focus more on be controlling what you're drawing and drawing tons of cards and being able to sustain yourself. So definitely this is a step in the right direction. I really like the card's art. And it's one of the first cards I did that have like a background, like a little bit of a background with this like, with the water streams. So... Definitely a cool card. And next, I'm going to show you a card that I think is just really silly and fun. Plantocalypse. Um, it has, it's a green minion, 90 HP, 135 attack, and it's common. And it, it'll, it takes two green runes for it to attack, and it doesn't have an ability. It's just a fun little card like this. I really like this card. It's been in a few of my previous games, but never in this much Plantocalypse form. No, never too many monsters in it. Next, uh, it's a really cool card. I, I, I love this artwork. Um, it's a card that I think will improve red as a whole. It'll make it more aggro. This is definitely a very aggressive card. Here it is. Spiny Wyvern. 55 HP, 135 attack. Uh, takes two red runes for it to attack, and its ability says, This minion gains 15 attack for every minion on your opponent's bench. So, this card is definitely going to improve red's matchup against, like, certain decks, like black and white decks, because both of those decks want to spam minions. And they definitely... And red just can't deal with having to kill tons of little ones. So right now, because um, those little ones in those decks power up one big guy. So having, oops, sorry, this card, having this card in it, in a red deck could greatly improve your matchup and make it so you can kill those big guys and punish them for spamming. Next... It's a card that I did a speed art for in a previous video. Bombly. 170 HP, 20 attack, which is massive for a one cost minion. But in its ability says, when this minion is killed, do uh, 80 damage to the minion that killed it. So this probably seems really overpowered. And I kind of needed this. White needs, it, needs this type of card. Because right now, white is easily the worst deck to run. Because it just doesn't have powerful cards. So I definitely want to work on that in the future. And Bobbly is a step in the right direction. That's kind of what all these cards are about. Set 2 is more about moving away from the archetypes and like the strategies I've built in Set 1. And creating more consistent and equal fights for all the different colors, because I definitely want to make it, I want to make it so, set two is going to be about making it so you can have, like, all the colors have a chance in a game, nothing's too overpowered, and then the other one is, I want to make multicolored decks, I don't know how that's going to work, I had a little bit of a, um, like, idea, it would be like, 
in Magic the Gathering, you have, like, two different color lands, like the gateways or whatever. I would kind of, I could kind of do the same thing, where it's like a, a blue and a green um, rune, and then you play it on there, but then they can't attack for that turn. And then I think that'd be a pretty cool idea, and it would make it so there's more, like, a diversity in your deck. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling and get on with the actual content of this video. I want to show you the next card. It's the black card for this video. Arcus. Um, has 25 HP, 110 attack, and its ability says, When this minion kills another minion, this minion gains HP equal to the killed minion's HP. So this is a pretty strong card. It's definitely um, a card that will be in black decks, mostly because it has little HP, so it can easily get killed and get moved on to the Haunted Pumpkin. But it also is a pretty good attacker on its own, and it can actually get up to pretty tanky levels. So next is an environment card. It's the last card I want to show you guys today. Um, I, this is definitely going to help with multicolor decks. Uh, so it's an environment. It's the Tenon Temple. Its ability says all minions can use any color runes to attack, but if they use a different color rune, that minion loses 40 attack. So it allows you to make decks with tons of different color minions. But first of all, it's an environment, so you won't get it all the time. And second of all, it you lose attack on those minions for that. But sometimes it's not a big deal, because you could use this that environment with big minions that don't care about losing 40, because they're already one-shotting most things. So, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe, and if you want to check out my set one cards or and get a pack for yourself, they're really nice quality. Yeah, currently, right now, sadly, you can't, they won't, Game Crafter will not ship packs, but if you want to check me out, make sure to subscribe, um, like the video, comment down below which one, which one of these cards is your favorite, uh, and thank you for watching. See ya.